to another brand new episode here on 1950s Farm. So, what have we got to do today? Well, today is a big day, not only on this farm, but also on the dairy farm. So what we need to do first off, oh, we've got a little bit of wheat in there. We need to move the baler out of the way. Should we get on the track to the correct side? Move the baler the, out of the way. Get the trailer that's in the shed in the way out of the way. And then we need to put the auger over the grain bin because uh, we need to store the grain in the silo up here because the silos that are on the dairy farm which is reasonably accurate to the ones that looked like they were there and non-functioning so I uh, I must admit I didn't realize that until I was just testing it out the other day and realized I couldn't uh, actually get to uh, the, the, they just didn't function they had no in-game function so we're gonna have to um, store the uh, the wheat crop or the dairy's wheat crop <laughs> the dairy's wheat crop in our silo and then it will be sold for the dairy uh, via uh, that so that's uh, what unfortunately we're going to have to do at the moment right we mustn't swing that out too much otherwise we're going to knock the side of our shed off but at the same time we have to swing it out enough that's fine and then once we get it out of the shed it does just fit through here he says Once we get it out, we'll swing it round, we'll plonk it over the top there. We'll need to lift it up. So do that now while we're turning. I've never really played with uh, silos like this before, mainly because it used to be a bit sort of hit and miss, but um, I've been doing it recently on some of my own saves and uh, it's actually really good fun. Now then, let's get up there and uh, see if we're in line. Does that not go up anymore? No. Nope. Anyway, it's in. I guess really in real life the cap wouldn't be there, would it? I would never fancy climbing one of those though, I've got to be honest. But uh, anyway. Right, so that's done. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. The day is set fair, so we'll go down and uh, we will uh, get ourselves ready. There's lots of uh, wheat fields now in the area available, uh, available, uh, ready to be combined. Um, so the year is definitely uh, pushing on. The beans look well. Everywhere's fully fertilised now, so we're all up to date on there. Yeah, that big tall tower is um, the silo, but as I say, I couldn't get it to to accept crops or because I didn't know whether it was just a case of on the side of it where the intake chute was was like a tip trigger, um, and it had been built into the map. But it must be just decoration because as I, say, I couldn't get nothing to work in there, so. Not to worry, as I say, we'll put it in our silo and then um, we'll allow the dairy to sell the wheat from from there. Now, in real life, they milled the wheat and added it to the cow feed, uh, which when I worked on the first farm that I worked on, we had sheep. We did have a few bull uh, beef cows. We had a few uh, Lincolnshire red cows, um, not many, probably I would no more than ten. Uh, but predominantly we had sheep. We had two or three hundred sheep. We had quite a lot of sheep. 
and I know that one of their sheep paddocks backed on to our grain store and one year whether they had managed to break through the back of the grain store or the grain store because they were quite old had rotted out and the hole had formed and some of the wheat or barley or whatever we were storing in there leaked out of the back and the sheep ate the grain out of the back and with their tongs were sort of knocking it out um, and they would sort of headbutt the uh, the grain the the grain store and, and the grain would drop out and I think definitely one of them I th I th I'm sure it was two of them died um, and and it, I was told that it was because the the grain in their stomachs expands and eventually if they eat enough of it, it suffocates them because their stomach becomes so big that they end up um, suffocating from it and uh, so when I read that uh, the dairy milled the wheat and then put it through I was like kind of like really because I thought you know but no and that's still common today apparently now farms that do it always have a high uh, vitamin B injection in stock so that if the cattle do eat too much of it and it does make them ill apparently now it just gives them the really bad squits because farmers are able to catch it early enough they know the signs now to look for the and and they're able to catch it early enough um and uh yeah they're able to give the cows a vitamin b injection which neutralizes the grain and basically I must I assume gets rid of it from their stomach it neutralizes all the acid and everything in their stomach and um, they're able to uh, as I say have the really bad squids but um, at the same time it obviously gets rid of the offending grain and um, the cows do uh, do live now I'm just wondering uh, just having a, a quick walk through the field just to sort of kind of see where we're at I think oh, I don't know actually that might be no I think I'm gonna move that um, we don't need to sell we are in off camera at the end of the last episode I sold all of the uh, all of the milk so we haven't got to worry about that they have enough feed now to last them a day or two um, so that's good and we uh, we won't need to worry about that now for as I say until probably August I would say when they might need to start looking at being fed again there is some uh, poo there but there's not really much for me to get excited about uh, and make it worth sort of digging out before we begin this wheat field is massive and I want the uh, we this zero turning tractor honestly it's awful I can see why so many people back in the 1950s and 60s died on them because honestly they're, they're bloody lethal and that's on a computer game <laughs> um, I definitely thought I haven't said that I drove a uh, farm all, uh, the first farm that I worked on small family farm uh, they had a, a vintage farm all, uh, that had been on their farm from brand new and I drove that one and that was exactly the same um, I didn't drive it very much in fact I only drove it once and I didn't drive it very far that once either because I turned the wheel and almost ended up facing completely the other way on uh, with a tractor on top of me so I uh, I didn't drive it that much thereafter right we will um, we're gonna have to use the flatter trailer because unfortunately I, I think if I remember correctly Oh no, that auger might, but my, the auger on our little combine doesn't go over there. Anyway, we'll put the trailer along here. It's not going to take very long to fill that combine. Um, so we are going to be doing a lot of backwards and forwards in uh, in this uh, episode. Right, that drill's in the way. I'm just wondering whether I could bring the forklift round. Because that's that's going to hit, and I'm not going to be able to get a tractor in there. So that's clearly rolled or moved or whatever. 
Uh, there's an interesting film. Let's have a look at that. Yes, we could. Um, so I just thinking out loud there, I could put that trailer on the back of that other trailer. Whether those John Deere A's would be powerful enough to pull two full trailers, I don't know. I apologise for the squeaky chair. Um, it's the uh, next thing on the to-do list. It's, uh, yeah, got to be done. Uh, right, anyway. So we need to go and get the little N series and then we will see if we can... Which I think, if I remember correctly, uh, we left round here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Feeding time for the cows. So I did put a bale in there again this morning. And that does mean now that there is more than enough in there now for a couple of days. I'm just a bit worried about this corner. Because the thing is, we're going to have to go round and round and round and round and round because obviously I can't drive through the crop to land it, which is how we would do it obviously today in today's world because um, we would uh, we would um, the cutter is in front of the wheels obviously so it doesn't make no difference. Right, I'm going to have to do a horrible thing here. That wasn't actually what I was going to do. <laughs> It's worked, but it wasn't what I was going to do. Right. Now. What I was going to try and do was attach to it and carry it out like that. I wasn't going to nudge it around like that. But anyway, we'll leave that there. The other John Deere is in this shed. And uh, we'll get that onto the combine. And then we've got to come around and try and get the header on. And then try and turn the whole lot around. I might even come out of the farm and go in uh, just right in front of me there. Is that off? Yep. All right, let's go. So yeah, I've been looking forward to harvest on, uh, on this series, I've got to be honest. Uh, looking forward to using our little, uh, um, our little uh, harvester as well because <clears throat> As I said in the last episode, it was uh, the first full year that Harry uh, was farming that um, he started to help out um, his neighbour. And there was a few, a few fields very close to where he lived um, that he harvested. And so uh, I might try and... Uh, simulate that as best I can. Right, there we go, we're on. Right, the, car, the header needs to go that side. What happens when I press zero? Nothing by the looks of that. Okie doke. Alright, let's uh, get this through here. And like an idiot, I've gone and put my bloody tractor right next to it. What an absolute doofus. Anyway. I can't remember whether I said it in the last episode or not, or in one of the previous episodes, but when it comes to the bean field, I may well try and see if I can live stream it and do a couple of hour live stream. Now then, is that gonna, I might be a little bit close. There we go. Right. It doesn't lift up and down, unfortunately. How is the... Yeah, we should get around there. We should get around there. All right. I'm going to uh, leave you with some lovely music. And I will see you at some point in the video I don't I doubt whether we're going to get this field harvested in this video but um, we could always do two videos uh, two harvest video uh, like two videos of harvest in this field and then obviously we've got to bail it and everything but as I say I'll leave you with some music and we'll crack on Thank you. 
and I'm back. So as you can see, I've moved on a little bit, I've done a little bit more just off camera because I was rec recording and the uh, multiple trips back to the yard to fill the uh, to fill the grain bin was uh, causing me uh, memory issues. Um, I'll be so much uh, happier when I get a computer with a bigger uh, bigger memory or more memory, I should say. Um, it's going to make life so much more easier. But as I say, I've moved on a little bit just to give you some sort of uh, idea. So we've changed trailer. The trailer does fit underneath the auger, which is really good. And the other thing to note as well is, is that back on our farm, we have now filled the silo. So we are now having to go direct to the um, grain cell point, uh, which is uh, fun because it's quite, it's quite a long way away. Um, but uh, yeah, so we've moved on a bit further. Uh, we've got the bit over in that corner finished. I decided to stay there. I, uh, I did drive through a, t a little bit of the wheat just to separate the two uh, bits on that nasty bend um, so I have done that bit it's just this main uh, big bit now to do just this main bit here now to do what you can see um, so uh, it's going to be a little while uh, but I'm going to end this video here because I think this video has been long enough um, so uh, I think I'll end it here but uh, the next video will will be uh, finishing off this harvest and and then we'll have the uh, epic job of baling <clears throat> what I'm going to do with the straw that's on the very outside of the field where it dropped it off the field I'm going to get my uh, windrower on the back of my tractor and try and windrow it back into the field um, just because you wouldn't really bale it off concrete so I'm going to try and see if I can uh, lightly windrow it off the field off the concrete onto the field and then we can bale it we're gonna have more than enough bales here um, to last us for like three winters let alone <laughs> let alone uh, just next winter so uh, what we'll do is is uh, as I say we'll bale it and then we'll store everything that we need to do um, I think I can kind of see the point of maybe the dairy investing in a second bale shed so you can fill one with one with straw and one with hay. Uh, I mean the dairy farm is not linked to... Oh, why has my man not followed me? Uh, the dairy uh, farm is not linked to um, uh, like our farm. In any way shape or form uh, the other thing as well is is they've got completely separate bank accounts the reason the money is as high as that at the moment is because obviously I'm taking it to the grain um, sell point and selling the grain and I'm putting it obviously the money goes into my farm um, but then when this harvest is finished I've made a note of what money I was on and uh ah oh yeah this trailer doesn't like piles of straw does it darn it i've made a note of uh, what money i was on and i'll just put the money back um into what it was so i'm not cheating the save game or the system or the farm in any way shape or form uh, all the money that's made from milk anything to do with the dairy I make a note of and then so the dairy has its own money and obviously my money just comes from what I do on my farm um, so I don't want anyone to think oh you know well you, you know I don't farm this land and yet I'm profiting I'm, I'm not going to be profiting from from this farm at all all I will get paid from this farm is what Harry got paid in real life which was his wages um, that's all I will get paid but uh, yeah as I say I'm probably gonna end the video here because as I say it's gone on quite a bit and if I had the memory uh, on the computer I mean uh, I would record all of this and time-lapse it a bit quicker 
um, but uh, unfortunately, sadly, I don't, so I can't. Um, so yeah, all that's kind of left for me to say is thanks ever so much uh, for joining me on this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed having you company. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Your help and continued help is really, really appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.